Hello lovely babes and babes. Hello ladies and gents and everything in between that side of it. It didn't come. My brain was like, mm, what do you normally say? Today I'm gonna do a little reading vlog on looking for Alaska and this is the first episode in a little series that I'm gonna do. I initially wanted to make this one big video but then I realized this is gonna take me absolutely forever. So what I wanted to do was that I read uh, a sad book and then I watch the sad movie and then I do a little compare and contrast and then I see how sad it is and how much it affects me. <laughs> so yeah, that's gonna be a little series. They're gonna be spread out. I don't really have a specific time in between each episode. They're just gonna be uploaded regularly. But I wanted to start with looking for Alaska. I thought it might be a little easier for me as well to do it this way and then you guys technically have more content. Outside, I'm in my little hang chair. If you watch my hate, The Hating Game reading vlog, I actually just finished that yesterday. I was also sitting in here. I put on a shirt because it's getting a little chilly outside. I have some snacks. Great snack. Meet my dog, Bossy. It's one of the two. This one is turning 10 this year, and I'm scared to death. And then he wants attention again. I'm gonna read, babe. People are texting me. So mad, it's already so good on the first page, and I didn't bring, like, my pencil or, like, my my little marks because this is one of the books I really wanted to annotate and I already ran upstairs twice because I forgot so much stuff. If it gets so good that I need my pencil then I'll go. It is a lot later. It is currently quarter past quarter Quarter past six, I just had some dinner outside. I put, I got my laptop from upstairs. I did get my pencil case and I got my pencil case, water, I got some more snacks, the book, a couple of blankets, and then there's, I think, some other stuff. I left my headphones upstairs because I'm stupid. That's what I've been up to. I'm on page 53 and I'm really liking it. Like, the writing... In the beginning, I wasn't sure what to think of Chip, but I quite like him so far. We've just met like the main characters, like Chip, Miles, the point of view, the main character, um, Alaska, and then Chip's best friend. And then we've heard a few other names, but I feel like those are gonna be the most important. We just got to know Sarah, which is Chip's girlfriend. Party rock. What I've chosen to do for now is to continue reading. So that's what I'm gonna do. God, that's very zoomed in, isn't it? Yeah, it is a lot later. It's so warm in my room, so my cheeks are like boiling. I am boiling, but I refuse to take off any of my clothes. Why? Because I'm comfortable. I am on page 100 and I'm still obsessed with it. I still literally cannot put it down. I just don't know what to say about it. Like, I really like like it's definitely very coming of age, but I love it. I really like the romance in it as well. Like kind of rooting for um for miles i like i like quite how realistic it is um apparently the show and the book is banned in the usa i don't know if it's everywhere in the usa but i was looking where to watch the show and then i i scrolled down further and then said something about banned and then apparently it was banned in the usa that's i didn't really read into it so if i'm wrong correct me if i'm wrong like not realistic not eligible for teenagers it was too sexual too rough or something like that i think it started off with one parent that initially wanted it banned but i feel like either that parent didn't have a teenage life um or they did and they just don't know what teenagers do these days but um i'm currently at the part where miles is staying over for thanksgiving 
instead of um, actually going home to his parents. And I feel like I can't, I just can't say much about the story because it's, it would be spoiled because basically everything is connected to everything. So if I say one thing, it doesn't make sense without saying another thing. But yeah, he's definitely gotten closer to a lot of people and well, to his initial ring, he's just gotten closer to them. See, I'm, I'm here, right? Well, I kind of skimmed over to here because I knew what was going to happen in these two pages because I saw spoilers a couple of days ago. I don't know what's going to happen in all of this though, but I just felt my heart sink already. And I was like, oh yeah, when I get to after, I'll go to bed because I have to get up in eight hours. But um, I will not. I will have to continue reading because that's how I work and I cannot put this down right now. Hello everyone, it is literally days later. But um, well not day, it's a day later. I didn't, I mean, I read like a tiny, tiny bit, but I had a very busy day yesterday. I went lunch with my friend and then we went shopping and then I had to go home and then I had to work and then after work we went to the cinema. So I was a busy gal yesterday. Yeah, but I'm definitely gonna go out and read a bit now. I only have 80 pages left, so I do think, I mean, I wanna get it done today, so I hope I can do that. the book it was really good though i really like the ending the ending is really nice it's very original as well i just i'm so happy because it's such a satisfying ending and the book is just really realistic and like there's a lot of like questions that i'd like also kind of asks you just to think about it's beautifully written it's absolutely wonderful i will get into my final thoughts when i finish the show when i'm doing my little compare and contrast and then I will finish up with my review of the show and the book. That's something I really have to think about. But the quotes of this book, chef's kiss. In the book, I already related a lot to Miles. I'm currently on episode three. It's super good. I am loving it more than I thought I would. I was already thinking, oh yeah, like I definitely relate a lot to Miles. In the show, it's so much more like it's hitting me. We are almost the same person. Like the way he's so awkward. Cause like obviously right now I'm quite comfortable, but that's because I'm sitting all alone in my room talking to a device. But if you would meet me in real life, I would be the most awkward, almost cringe person that you would ever meet. towards the end of the video i did not finish the show sadly on time so let's get down to the nitty and gritty so basically i think it's a 
great adaptation. I think that it did the book justice. Um, there were definitely a few differences and the storyline was a bit mixed up and there were obviously scenes added because the book is in the point of view of Pudge or Miles then we don't really get to see the point of view of other people. So that was definitely added also just to add more, you know, to make it a bit more natural in a way. And I feel like that definitely helped to, to tell a story, especially on the screen. But yeah, like I have a strong emotional connection to these people already. There are a few things that like don't happen, uh, but happen in the book and a bit the other way around. But on the other hand, Looking for Alaska is quite a complex story and it is quite, um, I feel like it has a lot of like hidden details and it just had, has a lot of things that have significance that you don't understand until the end so they have to be included but sometimes it just would not fit in the structure as it was in the book so they have to change it a bit to fit you know the series. I just really like the show and the book and I think nearly everyone that's watching go watch the show or read the book like they're both really good and I feel like it's just like a story that you have to have heard. I'm really happy that I chose to do this because I'm really happy that I now know the story. Um, if you know any good books that are super sad that have a series or movie yet, just that have an adaptation, let me know. I definitely have a few for now, but maybe if I really want to continue the series and you guys really like this, then I'll definitely continue to do this. Maybe I'll make it more into a, ser into a series where I read the book and then watch the movie adaptation. That could be a series, really depends what you guys want me to do. But yeah, I just, I had a great time doing this. I'm super excited to continue this little series. With, with school, I have um, I have a project and we're selling our own tote bags. And all the money that we receive from the tote bags, all the profit, all the fundraising, it all goes to this charity, the Burmese Learning Center. We're probably gonna be selling our tote bags quite soon. Um, I'll put the Instagram down in the description. You can probably just buy them through Instagram. We are planning to make the Instagram a bit more active, to ask you guys questions. Um, but yeah, just keep keep it updated. If you're still watching, comment. Don't, I haven't chosen, I, I can't choose the emoji, just the emoji that's currently in the stream. Comment that if you watched till the end or up until now. But yeah, that is the update for now and I hope you enjoyed and I will see you when I see you.